introducing myself. Uh, my name is Arseni. I've been in the tech industry for just over six years now. Uh, I've been creating mobile applications for just uh, under four years, I think now. Maybe my numbers are a little bit off, but roughly, roughly there. And uh, I discovered Flutter actually uh, a year ago, and I didn't really think much of it. I, uh, I, uh, I, I know I experimented with it a bit. I knew that since Google was doing it, um, that perhaps it it was most likely going to be something pretty, uh, pretty cool. But never, but again, Google did have uh, a lot of projects that, that they sort of abandoned, so they wasn't really too into it. And then maybe around six or seven months ago, I really got into it when a client. Uh, approached the company I worked for and they wanted to do a project with uh, with Flutter and so I really got into it and uh, so that's where we are today. Uh, I am uh, really into Flutter. I really enjoy using it. Uh, I think it's a really cool application, a cool framework for creating mobile applications and definitely a good tool overall. So if we are going to be talking about the subject of prerequisites for this course, um, really I would expect you to have at least intermediate programming knowledge. So from what I'm thinking um, about this course, uh, most likely there are going to be some semi-complex things here. Now, when I say intermediate programming knowledge, I don't mean an intermediate developer. Um, definitely, if you're an intermediate, if you're a junior developer, then you're, you're already good to go. Um, but I would say somebody that has at least maybe three months experience programming, whether that is, you know, just in school or as a or you know as a job at least three months experience doing some kind of programming knowing the, the the syntax of at least one language like java or javascript or something like that just know the basic syntax um, and then just be acquainted with programming as a whole just because um there are some things here that might be a little bit advanced for people that are just starting out so i wouldn't really recommend this course for people who are who want to just get into you know actual development. Um, I would definitely recommend these for people that maybe already know a programming language and want to learn a framework for developing cross-platform uh, mobile applications. So that's generally uh, about the practice because it's, it is definitely in our interest that everybody you know be you know happy with this course. They have the necessary knowledge to complete this course. So yeah, that's um, the practice there. And okay, now that we got that all of that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and next time take a look at installation. This is where we're actually going to be installing Flutter and going over the very, very basics of how exactly it works. And then later on, don't worry, in the, in the rest of the course, we're actually going to be taking a look at uh, more in depth what exactly happens under the hood, sort of. So don't worry about that. But next time, we're going to be going over installation. Anyway, I'm going to see you there. Till soon.